guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys four different hairstyles that are all created using Care Care styling products. Now these hairstyles are good for college students or if you're running late to work or if you just don't necessarily have 15 to 20 minutes to do your hair every single morning. Looking for a COVID-19 stylish mask? We've got you covered. That's thejeweledexperience.com. It's jewelry you'll love. Starting off, I'm just going to make a part on the side of my hair. Then I'm going to go in with the Care Care Essential Oil using a dime size of the oil. I like to rub it in between my hands just to warm the oil up and then I apply this thoroughly through my hair. Because this is a sleek ponytail, you want to make sure you comb out all the tangles that you might have in your hair so that your hair lays in one direction. Going in with the Care Care Edge Tamer, I like to apply this to my edges while I'm creating the style just to help set and hold the hair where I want it to be. I take the smallest amount on my fingertips and I apply this towards the front of my head where I usually get the most flyaways. Following with the Care Care Moisturizer with jojoba oil, I like to apply this to my hands first, again just to warm it up, and then I go in with my brush to give my hair an even more sleek look. Now for this style, you can put your ponytail anywhere, but I prefer to have a low sleek ponytail, so that's where I'm going to put mine. To finish this look, I set my hair with the Care Care Finishing Spray Medium Hold. I love that this gives you a lot of hold without the flakes or even leaving your hair dry and hard. And I only apply this to the front of my hair, avoiding the ponytail so that my ponytail can still have some volume. Here's the finished look. Moving on to the next. Looking for a COVID-19 stylish mask? We've got you covered. That's thejeweledexperience.com. It's jewelry you'll love. Keeping the side part, but combing a small section along the hairline to make sure there's no tangles, I go ahead and make a thin part close to the side part to prep my hair for the braid. Starting off, I like to French braid my hair along the hairline and I grab hair as I go to reassure that my braid is really close to my hairline. When I get to my ear, I stop adding hair into the braid and I just finished braiding the hair I had previously collected and braided that down three-fourths to the end. After the braid is completed, I go in with my paddle brush and brush my hair upwards in a ponytail. When I feel like the ponytail looks nice, I then go ahead and add the tail of the braid into the ponytail before I secure it with my ponytail holder. Going in with the Care Care Silk and Seal Liquid Sheen, I spray this all over my hair to just give it a nice lightweight shine so my braid doesn't look dry because we did pull hair from underneath the bottom of the top layer. So just to make sure that my hair looks really nice and really shiny. This is the finished look. If you're looking for more of a protective hairstyle, you can easily turn this style from a ponytail to a bun by wrapping your hair around and securing it with a bobby pin. And of course, you can fluff it out and manipulate it to fit your desired look. This is the finished look. Moving on to the next. Transitioning from the braided ponytail, I like to make a part down the middle of my head from the front all the way to the back and for a more edgy look, you can do a zigzag part if you like, but for this video, I'll just be doing a straight part. 
after your part is made, you want to put a section up so it's not interfering with the other side. And you want to make sure you brush your hair in a downward motion to prep your hair for the braids. Going in with my Care Care Oil Moisturizer with the Hobo Oil, I like to apply a dime size to my hands and warm it up before I apply it all over my hair just so the product can work easier with my hair. At the front of the part, I section off a triangular shaped part and this will be the beginning of my braid. The direction of your braid really depends on how you want it, but for me I like my braid to be in the middle of each section. I know some people, they like to make their braid following their hairline, but that's not me. For this video, I'll just make my braid in the middle. After I'm done braiding my hair, I like to use the bobby pin to hold my ends from unraveling. Now you can stop here if you want, or you can put the pins up for a more protective hairstyle. But for today's look, I'm going to pin the tails of the braid up on the opposite side, and I make sure I tuck any of my ends into the braid so that my ends aren't sticking out. To make this hairstyle more girly, I like to finesse my baby hairs and add an extra hint of cuteness to this style. Here's the finished look. Moving on to the next. Looking for a COVID-19 stylish mask? We've got you covered. That's thejeweledexperience.com. It's jewelry you'll love. Transitioning from the boxer braids, I like to use my ears as a guide for where my part's going to go. You want to have 75% of your hair down in the back and 25% up in the front. I like to use my brush to make sure the front and the back sides are laid down very smoothly for a really nice uniform ponytail. After I've created my ponytail, I just like to go in and fluff my hair out just to give it a little more volume. Here's the finished look. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in my next one.